Freedom Run is being dedicated today to honor all United States military service dogs and their handlers who have served this great country of ours. What makes this dedication very special is that Freedom Run is a collaboration of three separate units of government. There are some really fabulous stories about military service dogs that represent each branch of the military dating back to World War I on the plaques. Um, you got to read them. It's uh, pretty moving. We're very excited to be a part of this historic event. And I guess I want to start off first by thanking the Hoffman Estates Park District. The staff has been wonderful. Uh, Dean and Mike and Debbie and Gary have been so so easy to work with and, and they really know what they're doing and we really appreciate that because um, for the last probably three or four years we've been looking at knowing our residents want a dog park and we've been exploring those options. You know this is a great thing to see and we started seeing this uh, this past July when we had the uh, Hoffman Estates, the Elgin Hanover Park and the Hanover Park uh, Township come together and celebrate the 4th of July at the Sears Center. It was a great event, and as a state rep for me, it makes it so much easier when I see the towns that I represent and the townships. By the way, they are uh, Hoffman Estates, Streamwood, Elgin, Bartlett, Hanover Park, to come together and do these kind of things. We're very excited, because this is, we get into the dog park business with a partner that really knows what they're doing. We're learning from it. We know our community needs a lot more of these. You know, and we look forward to providing more, but this is a great way for, for us to learn from the Hoffman Estates Park District and their staff on how to operate one of these dog parks and, and do it in a way that's very cost effective and very, very good for our residents. So we really appreciate them helping us to do that. And I think Randy touched on a lot of things that I think are important. You look behind us here, it's not just the dogs, but the people that are getting out, getting outside instead of sitting at home and sharing a, a, a common interest together. And uh, Randy talked about uh, the parks departments have kind of led the municipalities forward. When we did the uh, ribbon cutting at Princeton West Park, Mayor McLeod and I talked about future partnerships and things we could do. And out of that conversation came the 4th of July event that uh, Representative Crespo talked about. And that's growing. We're still working on that for next year. We're planning on moving forward on that. But we're also talking about economic development opportunities along I-90 so that we can uh, share our planning and uh, move forward together, not working in silos and not being uh, like we have been for the past 40 years. You know, our boundaries touch, you can walk uh, from here into Elgin, it's uh, just a few feet, and I think we have begun to, people have begun to realize that, that this is more of a, uh, it's more of a regional uh, effort. Streamwood and Bartlett, uh, Hanover Township, Hanover Park, are also uh, becoming very involved. We're looking at things now that are much more serious, much more complicated. Things like uh, emergency response for uh, disaster planning for our five communities. How can we help each other by expanding our mutual aid agreements to protect our residents in case of something uh, uh, that we don't want to have happen, something like a tornado that went through Joplin, Missouri. How would our communities respond? Our approach has always been what well, we can take care of our own. You can't do that anymore. And we need to, we need to look at uh, uh, bigger things, bigger connections, working hard together. And this is really a good start for us. And I'm really happy to hear about the, uh, the split of the people that have joined. And I, I, maybe it's just the, uh, the luck of the draw, but I, I would anticipate it's going to stay pretty close to that. Once people get to share this and get the feeling of what the dogs can do and what, they're gonna, what they can share out here, I think it's going to grow. So thank you very much. Really a great day. When the military is done with their dogs, they put them through a series of temperament testing. If they pass the test and they get adopted out through Lackland Air Force Base, it's actually a really good program. Typically, if you want to adopt a dog, it can take up to 18 months because of the waiting list. Now, unfortunately, when the dogs fail the temperament testing, they're a liability to the government, those dogs are slated to be euthanized. So what we did is we found a little loophole in the system. Pretty much what we do is we take the dogs that cannot go to regular homes, and then we hire disabled veterans to take care of them. Their payment for working for us is rent-free housing. Now, we're not a government organization. We don't take any government funding. We've been in operation for five years, 100% volunteer and financial on our website. But most importantly is we only take American-owned companies as sponsors. It's great to see all the smiling dogs behind us. Just look at the grins on their face. 
Uh, but but for me, what I like even better is the smiling owners, you know, um, and the fact that our parks are used to bring people together and get to know one another. I'm so excited to see that parks are playing a major role in bringing our communities together and helping the dogs get healthy and uh, the, the, the owners also get some exercise, but more importantly for the owners to meet other owners.